Islamic Republic of Iran is among the six world states which are capable of manufacturing laser weapons to defend countries' sensitive regions. Knowledge of designing and manufacturing laser weapon system is an important achievement gained by Iran's defense industries in recent years. Laser weapons can well fight air targets. Over two decades ago, Iran Electronics Industries managed to acquire knowledge of designing and building laser weapons to settle them in sensitive regions to defend the country. High speed is one of the advantages of using such systems, as long as energy exists, shooting continues. Due to its complication and high technology, just a few countries like Iran could enter the area of laser weapons. Knowledge of design and production of laser defense systems is one of the important achievements that have been achieved in recent years by the defense industry of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Our country's defenses are set against hostile targets. It was the first time in September 2009 that the then CEO of the Electronic Industries Organization of Iran, Siren, announced that our country had acquired the knowledge to design and manufacture defense laser weapons and deploy them in critical areas of the country to protect these areas and said, Good achievements in killing we had it all made domestically, for example it's common in the world to make radar evading warplanes out of composite layers to be both radar proof, lightweight, and to help keep them flying in the air. This composite body is vulnerable to high power lasers and we can use these lasers to destroy them. SADAB, laser weapon system is the name of the achievement and product of our country's defense industry in the field of laser weapons, which today is responsible for protecting and guarding the sensitive and vital places of the country. The advantage of using such systems is their high speed against air targets such as drones and cruise missiles, because in these weapons, the projectile, which is a laser beam, moves at the speed of light, and also as long as there is a flow of energy, this firing continues. Meanwhile, Iran's IRGC claims new, laser-guided, missiles, air defense for ships. Adding air defense to naval ships is a norm around the world. Iran is merely boasting it has added this capability to smaller ships. This is because Iran's navy doesn't have many large surface ships. Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, naval arm claims that it has put, laser-guided missiles, and, air defense, on its fast attack boats. This comes after a series of recent claims by the IRGC about upgrading its navy. The IRGC has its own naval ships while Iran has an official navy as well. The two compete for resources from the regime although the two also have different missions. The IRGC Navy carries out the harassment of foreign navies and is also involved in developing new weapons while the regular Navy has larger ships and conducts longer-range missions. In recent years, the IRGC Navy has sought to improve its fast attack boats, of which it has several types and hundreds of boats. Several days ago, Iran claims to have equipped two classes of its ships with long-range missiles. Now, reports at Tasnim News, which is pro-regime and close to the IRGC, has said that Iran has fast vessels of the IRGC with laser-guided missiles and air defense. The report says that a new generation of Tandur vessels has also been equipped with anti-ship missiles. Tasnim reported, new high-speed vessels were delivered to the IRGC Navy, which had a different design from the previous vessels and was equipped with laser-guided missiles instead of rockets. The report also said that the anti-ship missiles have been added to vessels and that the missiles have a range of up to 180 kilometers.